Day two of the Jayco Herald Sun Tour saw the peloton take to the open roads with the triple Olympic gold medalist Ed Clancy in the yellow jersey. Early in the 161 kilometre stage from Colac to Warrnambool, a breakaway group of six formed and was predominantly made up of the riders from Australian teams looking to make their mark with Liam McGuinness of Drapak EF and Matt Ross from the Corda meant the Real Estate Australian National Team amongst them. They built up a maximum lead of 4 minutes and 20 seconds as they hit the Great Ocean Road and rode past the 12 Apostles. With the wind hitting the peloton from the side, the Mitchelton Scott team, along with Trek Segafredo, took control of the race, splitting the peloton to pieces and putting time into the yellow jersey. And in the charge for positions at the front of the race, there was a crash involving five riders with Lauren Didier of Trek Segafredo, the most notable to go down. Inside the final 20 kilometres, they'd caught the breakaway and a leading group of 29 riders formed. Under the constant pressure of the attacks, the race split again, with nine riders doing battle for stage honours. Last year's winner, Damien Housen, showed that he has the form to win again with a late bid to win the stage, but was caught just metres from the line. In the frenetic sprint, London Olympic gold medalist Lassa Norman Hansen took the win ahead of Steel von Hoff of Benelong Swiss Wellness and former Jayco Herald Sun Tour winner Cameron Meyer in third. Thank you, Larry. Oh, it's fair, man. Oh, dude. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a really good race today. There was a lot of crosswind and uh, got split at about 30k to go and ended up in a 10 man bunch sprint. So, yeah, really, really happy to take the win against names like Steel von Hoff and all the other fast guys. The stage win has also given the Dane the race leader's yellow jersey as he heads into Friday's stage from Warrnambool to Ballarat with a nine-second advantage over Cameron Meyer.